October 2nd, 2018. Well, uh, I had uh, a leak in one of the, in the delivery line coming from the ram pump to the reservoir, and so I thought, uh, well, I fixed the leak the other night, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to discuss diagnosing uh, leaks in your delivery line on a ram pump and how you can use a pressure gauge to help you diagnose about where that leak is by elevation. So uh, the first thing you should do if you're diagnosing a leak is shut off all outputs uh, up top so that the pressure builds in line and as the pressure builds it will make the leak much more evident to you. You should be able to hear spraying water, dripping water or something like that as you walk along the line. Oftentimes the line will be quite hidden in tall thick grass, leaves, brush, etc. Uh, at least here on my farm. Especially in the summer after we've had four good months of grow, uh, grow, growing weather where obviously plants have matured. So uh, first step is shut off the output and then we'll go down to the REM pump itself and we'll discuss a little bit more about using diagnostics to figure out approximately where a leak is by elevation using a pressure gauge. So here we are down at the ram pump. So uh, the leak I had the other night when I put the ram pump back online made it so that every time the ram pump was on and running you'd see the pressure on the gauge run up over a little bit over 20. But if I shut the pump off it would creep back down and sit around 10 PSI. So what that tells me I'll just zoom in on the gauge real quick here and let you see. Uh, you can see that we're stopped right now. We're up full to uh, the valve that I just showed you. It's shut off. And so you can see that uh, we're sitting around 25 PSI right now. And so that's what that whole column of water actually is pressure-wise. Uh, so for elevation, for every one foot that you go up, you gain 0.433 pounds per square inch of pressure. So that means with some simple calculations you can figure out when you have a leak in your line, if you're bleeding back to 10 PSI, then you're talking, let's see, 10 PSI over 0.433, you're talking about 20 vertical feet from the pump. So uh, based on that and knowing you know your approximate elevations as you go up your delivery line <coughs> excuse me you can go and kind of find the general area where you should be looking for your leak and uh, so what I'll do uh, here is I'll just uh, I'll bleed off some pressure I'll shut off the output valve and I'll bleed off some pressure and we'll kind of simulate the leak that I had the other night so I would run the pump it would pressurize up to about there and then after sitting for a little bit the pressure would drop to about there okay so based on that I knew that I had to go about 20 vertical feet above the pump and so I'll go and show you where the where the leak was and where the repair the temporary repair I made is just to kind of give you an idea and what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll walk up with the camera and then I'll speed the shot up so you can see how far along the delivery line that actual 20 vertical feet change is. Anyway, I hope this helps someone with diagnostics if you have issues with ram pumps. Uh, sometimes it might not be a pressure chamber leak if you're having a pressure leak. It might actually be in your delivery line on the way to the site depending on how you're set up. Um, anyway, uh, we'll discuss more when I show you the leak. So ram pump there, standpipe here, we're down in that trench, the overflow right there is about a little bit below the pond level, and then I'll speed up from here. Okay, here we are. So, I discovered the leak about two feet down this line 
Let me see if I can find it quick. Okay. So there's the leak right there. That might have been created back in the winter when we had a freeze. Um, or something might have run across it and slashed it. It's not a real visible crack. Without pressure under it, you wouldn't even know it was leaking. But with pressure under it, I could hear it leaking in here. And so that's how I discovered it. So <clears throat> this whole setup here is actually a tee off to the lower blue corn lot. So since I'm done with that lot for the season, I just disconnected it for now. And in the spring, I'll cut out that piece and repair this and reconnect the tee when I need it. Uh, so for now, I just spliced in another piece. Um, <clears throat> there's a little bit of drip leakage here, but it's not too bad. Um, anyway, so this is about 20 vertical feet above the pump. And I'll just uh, give you a shot back down the hill at the pond. The pond is over down in there. And then the pump is a little further over and a little lower just for a visual reference. So anyway, using the pressure gauge makes it easy to find the approximate elevation that your leak is at. And that gives you kind of a target zone to search in to make it easier. Because for example, this line is about 800 feet from the ram pump up to the barn. Um, so it's a long, a long run to diagnose. And especially as you can see, now that uh, summer's here, this stuff is all grown in real deep and thick. And it's hard to even see the line. And, of course, you wouldn't want to go through with the mower and end up chopping your own line. So you kind of have to hunt through it. So that's why that shutting the valve off and, you know, seeing what it... Shutting the valve off, pumping pressure up, then shutting the pump off, wait for it to bleed back and see what that pressure is. That'll tell you how much standing vertical column of water you have, and that'll give you elevation that you're looking for. Uh, so that's an excellent tactic. And... Uh, uh, an easy way to find or help find and target a leak so you can fix it. Hope this helps someone. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video or you want to subscribe to the channel. Uh, feel free to make any comments down below, any additional suggestions or thoughts or ideas or questions. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.